Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. I want to talk about getting hardware integrated into a session in Studio One. Now, if you own hardware at home or you're running a big studio and you've got racks full of, of gear, then I've never found a door that does it as straightforward and as elegantly as Studio One does it. And it uses a feature called Pipeline. And that is a very nifty way of getting hardware such as compressors. I've got DBX160, I've got 1176 from UA and all those other kind of things in and out of Studio One. And so I'm going to show you how to use it. And what's really cool about it is you can actually use it uh, like a plugin. And so if I have, for example, I've got this bass, I've just got this bass loop here. and I want to set up some hardware on it, then it's pretty straightforward. All I need to do is to come to Pipeline and drag it in here. Make sure I'm using it in mono in this case. I'll bring this across. And at the moment it says unnamed device. And all I have to do is create a send. I'm using an Apogee and Ensemble Thunderbolt and a return. And then the really cool bit is the way it works in terms of setting it up for things like at the, the, the phase problem with the latency of going out of the door and back in. Now the cool thing is that's all set up in here. Let me show you how that works. So I'll load in one of my presets for a second. I'll load in my DBX160 uh, and that's going out of sub 3 and back into input 13. So it's already set. And if you see in the middle here, there's one called offset 9 samples. Now if I ping this, you'll see a send and a return done here. The One of them is the out and one of them is the in. Now when I start, this starts at 0. And then you'll see there's an offset there and that's telling me a latency has been induced. And so I just need to push this up a bit until those images get as close as they can. So I, nine samples is what I got it to setting it up. And then of course, if you take turn, turn the up, up and the send and return down, this is the send out to the device. This is the return. You can then get it all matched that way as well. So it's very nifty like that. And once you've done that, then it's very cool because what you can do is if I just remove that now for a second, I've got it here. So if I want to use a DBX160 on my base, I just literally drag it across and it's like using a plugin. Another nice feature is if I expand this out there, I've got a mix. There's the original. There's the DBX. And of course, I can use it in parallel, mix the two together. Because I've already set up a DBX 116, I've also set up an 1176, now I can try an 1176 on it instead. So I've got my 1176 hardware. Also name that device so I can go DBX160 in there and I'll, I'll replace the preset so now I can see every time I use it that there's an 1176 and again parallel compression and no chorusing which would be there if you have phase issues it's as simple as that, but as I say, the great thing is just being able to drag that on there and use it like a pre, uh, like a plugin is brilliant. It's kind of like the benefit of a plugin, uh, but the the joy of the the analog hardware. So there we go. That's how to use hardware like plugins in Studio One. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.